The PASA, or palatal approach, anterior superior alveolar injection, is an injection indicated to anesthetize the maxillary incisors and the palatal as well as the facial tissue associated with these teeth. This injection is ideal for restorative procedures to the maxillary incisors, scaling and root planing, or surgical procedures of both the hard and soft tissues of the region. Benefits include the ability to achieve bilateral anesthesia from a single site injection. Also, pulpal anesthesia is achieved without facial numbness. You can reduce the dosage required to achieve numbness, and it's a very comfortable injection for the patient to receive. The dosage required for this injection is from three quarters to one cartridge. It will take approximately three minutes or more to deliver the anesthetic on the slow flow rate. The expected duration is from 60 to 90 minutes. A 30 gauge half inch needle is used for this injection. Set up the wand as usual and perform an aspiration pretest. This injection is initiated just lateral to the incisive papilla, targeting the incisive canal. The objective is to gain entrance into the incisive canal and maintain contact with the bony wall. A pre-puncture technique can be utilized by gently placing the needle bevel against the palatal tissue next to the nasal papilla. Use a sterile Q-tip to apply pressure and allow several drops of anesthetic to be expressed at the slow speed. Listen for the cruise control sound tone at this time. Activating the cruise control function will lock in the slow flow rate for this injection. Now very slowly move the tip of the bevel into the tissue, maintaining the slow flow rate. Allow several drops of anesthetic to be expressed into the nasopalatine papilla. Once the papilla demonstrates significant blanching, reorient the needle vertically so that the needle tip can enter the nasopalatine canal. Once the target is reached, perform an aspiration. Listen for the cruise control sound and reactivate the cruise control for the remainder of this injection. Once an adequate volume of anesthetic has been delivered, remove the needle slowly and use the Q-tip to catch any excess drips that may occur. You will notice significant blanching both on the palatal tissue as well as the facial tissue associated with the maxillary incisors.